<clears throat> we recording? All right, y'all. I just read a comment from a subscriber. Um, I believe he's a subscriber. He, he commented either way. Um, it had been in some comments from Dan LaFollette. Sorry, brother, if I'm uh, mispronouncing that. And he, well, they were just kind of asking about the walking, right? Walking the truck. So I, I'm gonna show y'all what I do. Let this thing click eight times. I've got some new gear, y'all. This is the new GoPro. This is the new um, Samsung Galaxy S20 something. Dude, this phone is the newest thing that they got out right now for um, what you might call it, um, Android. I don't, I, I, I've never been um, a big fan of Apple. It's not that I, I just, the, the platform is so, it's diverse and all of the, it, it, I've just never been an Apple person. And I can honestly say probably for the longest it's because they were too expensive. But since I've already adapted to this, this is what I'm used to. So, um, this is my property. This is where I live, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. This isn't my property. I rent here. But anyways, I'm going to show y'all. First thing I do is I dump my airbags. Okay? The reason I dump my airbags is I don't want those airbags being full when I walk the truck. All right? Now, I turn the PTO on for this peak. Okay? You turn the cruise on. And then you hold this up. And that's gonna turn my uh, RPMs up as high as I can get them to go. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna bring this for another view. All right, so a lot of times when you're going up underneath stuff or you're, you're going out from underneath stuff, you need to understand something very, very, very clearly that while you're doing this, if you're not very careful, you're taking some very serious chances of damage in your truck. You have to be careful. Um, I haven't replaced any airbags on this truck ever, okay? All right, let's get this going. Boom. All right, I've never um, had to replace any of the airbags on this truck, but um, I have been told by extremely experienced drivers that know their stuff that if you're not careful doing this, you absolutely can tear your truck up. And I believe them, okay? I believe them. I listen to the, uh, I listen to the more experienced guys for a reason, okay? Now, we're gonna go. Now, if you, let's say you're stuck in the mud too. If your back wall wheels are buried, y'all, man, you can walk yourself out of anything, dude. I have, one time I did a winch out for a chemical truck. It was a, a fertilizer truck, full, right? This guy, when I say full, like full of water, not like he was a fool. This guy, y'all, you wouldn't believe the work. So I had to, I got stuck twice getting to him. I had to walk myself to get out twice. Got to him, hooked up, and then I had to walk out I had to walk like three or four times to get out, and then I had to go back in again and get him again because he got stuck. He didn't follow me out. Uh, on the last part, he got stuck again, so I had to go back in. Anyways, long story short, this will get you unstuck if your wheels are buried as well, and it will push you up hills. First thing I do, y'all, all right, so you want the bed to have some of this. It, you want the bed to be back a little bit, and the reason why is because your bed going this way is what pushes the truck this way. So we're gonna go boom, and we're gonna plant that blade on the ground now mike may okay a guy who i listen to everything he's man i'm listening to my old and my the guys who are teaching me okay i'm leaving my tires on the ground y'all oh i'm a little nervous about this and it's my first time doing it but we're gonna try it all right all right so i've turned this brake off the reason i've done this very carefully now now i'm also turning the wheel and watch why. Let's say if I want, let's say if there's obstruction here and I can't come out that way, I can always turn my wheel and I can go out as a turn, right? So watch. All right, we're, we're planted. Watch this, y'all. Watch that truck go. Watch it go. Let's get the tires on the ground a little bit. Okay, watch it go forward. Watch that truck move, all right? Watch it go. Okay, now listen, watch it go y'all, now listen to me, 
it will go up any hill. You would be surprised what these things will do, right? Now, you don't want to be going up and down hills with it in neutral like that. That is for flat spots only, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to level out a little bit. All right, beds all the way out. So now it's the same. We're gonna we're gonna come back. And guys, you can literally let's say if a car has a total like a damaged front end, right? Let's say a car has a damaged front end to where if you go to try to drag it or something, you're gonna be dragging you're gonna be dragging it against the frame, right? Let's say if that's the case. You can literally go up. Let's say if it's front wheel drive car with front end damage, you can literally come up underneath that car. If you're good and you know what you're doing and I've done it and it works great. You can come up underneath that car, get your bed blade underneath the tire, scoop the tire, lift it, right? Boom. And now your tire is rolling up because it's front wheel drive. The front, the front's already on the ground. Boom, you're going up underneath it. And you do this, and you do this, until you run out of bed, all right? And now at this point, you gotta think you're gonna have your tires probably about here. Well, guess what? It don't stop. You can go some more. Keep in mind, your front end's on the ground, all right? So check that out. Now, once you do that, and you get it up here, you can take your hooks, put on it, get them nice and tight and you can lift the front end right off the ground without never dragging the thing, y'all. You're talking about, dude, I've blown customers' minds doing this stuff in front of them. Look, at the end of the day, and I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do another one for y'all. At the end of the day, uh, it is a very pleasing feeling when you got a group of people watching you uh, load and unload a vehicle that two tow trucks have already come out and said that it, it couldn't be towed and you come out and you take one look and you're like, oh, this is nothing, right? So, at the end of the day, y'all, um, I have walked my, this Peterbilt right here, um, in and out of muddy, muddy, mud, just awful spots where a truck shouldn't go, where, where most tow trucks would have told them, there's no way we're going there. All right, so there's that. Let's take a look and see how close we got. See, you saw that? All right, so we're gonna lift the bed up and I'm gonna air up and I'm gonna show you that everything's fine on the truck. Now, listen to me when I say it's very important. Um, Mike May has told me about the damages of the frame and. There's all kinds of damages that you can do to your truck if you do not do this carefully. So um, on the flat spots, I highly recommend practicing, getting your skills set to where um, you're, you're comfortable doing it with the um, break off. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm still, I'm still practicing that, okay? It takes guts. It takes guts. And my, my hat's off to you, sir. It has been since day one. I've been taking advice down from you here for four or five months now and in that four or five months sir you know darn well what you've done for my channel and what you've done for my skill set so um you know obviously i'm extremely grateful for that brother and uh you know in the long run with this channel i hope to uh i hope to be able to repay you someday but um yeah guys so this is the new gopro this is the new uh i've had the phone for a little bit now that's uh, that little thing right there. Is a, it's a selfie stick slash mount. I've got another one that turns. Um, look, I cleaned my truck a little bit. Look how, man, I like it when it's clean. Look at that. Ooh, man, I need to get some floor mats. Anyways, um, so y'all, listen. Walking and walking the truck out from underneath stuff and underneath stuff, I do it quite often. And when you do it, you just have to be careful. Let me show you my airbags. Look at those full inflated airbags, y'all. They're still inflating a little bit and that's okay. So yeah, my airbags are fine. Now look, when you're doing this, if you're on concrete, boards, y'all put boards. 
Mike says to put four by sixes or, or you know, get some boards up underneath your bed. And if you don't have any boards on you, you can always take your skate, right? One of your skates and you can always take one of your skates and put, or two of your skates. I would, you know, it's much, or yeah, it's much better to have multiple than just one. And what you'll do is, is uh, that'll make it to where you can um, keep from tearing up people's uh, uh, driveways and roads and parking lots and stuff, y'all. Anyways, I wanted to get that to y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching.